I have a really, really positive story to tell you about uh, that comes to us from Keck Medical Center of USC, which announced that a team of doctors became the first in California to inject an experimental treatment made from stem cells into the damaged cervical spine of a recently paralyzed 21 year old man as part of a clinical trial on March 6, just before his 21st birthday. Chris Bozen of Bakersfield suffered a traumatic injury to his cervical spine when his car fishtailed on a wet road, hit a tree and slammed into a telephone pole. And the parents, Rodney and Annette Bozen, were warned that there was a good chance that their son would be permanently paralyzed from the neck down. However, they also learned that Chris could possibly qualify for a clinical study, which might help. And the leading surgical team that was involved here uh, at the Rancho Los Amigos National Rehabilitation Center actually injected an experimental dose of 10 million uh, cells. They're called AST OPC one cells directly into Chris's cervical spinal cord in early April. And this is just unbelievable. Two weeks after surgery, Chris began to show signs of improvement. Three months later, he's able to feed himself, use his cell phone, able to operate a motorized wheelchair, hug friends and family, improved sensation and movement in arms and hands, easier to take care of himself. It's absolutely amazing. And we are being told there are some caveats here. Number one, for example, uh, this is not necessarily something that would work on people that have been paralyzed long ago. It does seem as though, at least for the time being, this is something it's action that needs to be taken uh, uh, quickly soon after injury. This is not something that would work for everybody necessarily. Many, many questions around this, but the hope is there. And what really is the scariest and most disturbing thing to me uh, is that there are individuals who don't want this type of research to be done, period. There are individuals who are against all stem cell research. There are individuals who, for religious reasons, it, sometimes the focus is on embryonic stem cells. And I know many people will say, but David, a lot of these advances are not from embryonic stem cell research. It's just from other stem cell research. That's true. But how can we even measure how much progress was lost under the Bush administration when the, uh, embryonic stem cell research was banned? And it's great that uh, President Obama has lifted that. It's great that we are moving on and resuming that research. But the idea that the party that calls itself pro-life is actually advocating against, in many cases, research that would save people, I don't get it. I don't know how you can live with yourself. I don't know how you can say that you are the moral majority. It's very, very disturbing to me.